The President's Award is a formal and public acknowledgement of significant and meritorious service given to the university. It is initiated and sponsored by the Office of the President of the University. The purpose of the President's Award is to recognize on a selective basis significant service or other contributions to the university, to the community, or to the public welfare which might not otherwise be recognized. We have selected two such individuals this year who have served Northwest University and the public welfare, Amy and Jeff Rogers. Would you please join me on the stage? Amy and her husband Jeff are influential leaders making a difference in this world for God's kingdom. Since retiring from her career at Microsoft, Amy volunteers extensively, speaks at women's gatherings, serves on the trusteeship committee at Bellevue Christian School, and the parent council at Pepperdine. She is also a member of Northwest University's Foundation Board of Trustees. In Warnala, uh, Uganda, Amy's family started a ministry called Doing Good that has taken an empty three-acre property and turned it into a school with multiple classrooms, a computer lab, a kitchen, a soccer field, and soon a baby house. Currently, 242 students receive an education that otherwise wouldn't be possible. In addition, through Doing Good, hundreds of friends and associates have made the trek to Uganda to bring hope through business seminars and community development. Amy's husband, Jeff Rogers, is chairman and CEO of One Accord Partners, a consulting firm that works with mid-market companies and organizations. He is the founder of Kairos, an important organization in the Seattle faith and work movement, and he also serves on boards at Youth Transition Network, C3 Leaders, and Linking Shields. Despite all this, Jeff and Amy rightly say that their proudest accomplishment is raising three daughters who walk with God and contribute to the culture of our region. The award says, the President's Award of Northwest University honors Jeff and Amy Rogers for exemplary service, presented on May 7, 2016. Hi, I'm Jim Hugel. I have the honor of serving as provost at Northwest University. Sigma Chi Pi is an honor society established for graduates of endorsed Assemblies of God colleges. The name Sigma Chi Pi comes from the first letter of the Greek words meaning diligent Christian leader, taken from Romans 12.8, which calls for gifted leaders to, quote, take the responsibility of leadership seriously. Graduates and alumni chosen for this honor society are selected by the faculty on the basis of outstanding academic scholarship, approved Christian character, and recognizable achievement in leadership, service, or vocation. The faculty bestows many honors on students and on graduates. This is the highest. The recipients have not been announced until now. Would the following members of the class of 2016 Please come to the platform, come up the stairs to my right, your left, passing behind me to receive your plaque and line up starting uh, way down to my left so that President Castleberry can confer the award. I'd like to invite these students to come receive the Sigma Chi Pi Honor Society Award. Bethany Atwood. <laughs> Jamie Baker. Gabriela Bontrager, Jamie Botros, Glenwood Clark, Brandon DeShazer, Josimer Evangelista, Evan Felt, Katie Fisher, Victoria Flores, Jessica Olson, Mark Olson, Kelly Peckham, Emma Petrus, Marlene Pierce, Amelia Ramos, 
Christian Rosh, Austin Rohan, Susan Shear, Colleen Stringer, Tiffany Taylor, and Rachel Williamson. For your loyalty to Northwest University and to its mission of quality Christian higher education, and for your, the excellence of your academic achievement, and for the influence of your contributions in the classroom and in student leadership, and for your devotion to Jesus Christ, your Lord, and for your example of Christian character, and for your manifest desire to give yourself to the task of servant leadership as exemplified by Jesus Christ wherever you go, for these reasons and more, Upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am happy to honor you with the Sigma Chi Pi Honor Society Award. Congratulations to you all. Hello, I am Ken Cornell, and I have the honor of serving as Senior Vice President for Advancement at Northwest University. The Sigma Chi Pi Award is also presented annually to alumni chosen by university faculty who have graduated from the university 10 years or more ago, who have manifested outstanding Christian character and who have made recognizable achievement in leadership, service, or vocation. This year, we are honoring two alumni. I'd like to invite award recipient, Mr. Ben Sterchuk, to join me on the platform along with Dr. Autumn Witt, who is accepting the award on behalf of Ms. Amy Altizer. <laughs> Amy Altizer has devoted her life to her calling and passion of working with those living in marginalization and, and oppression. After graduating from Northwest University in 1996, she earned a Master of Divinity degree from Episcopal Divinity School in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Now an ordained minister, Amy serves as the chaplain, chef, and horticulture therapist for Aqua Recovery, a premier residential drug and alcohol treatment facility in Utah. At Aqua, Amy is able to marry her passions of feeding people both physically and spiritually by leading a team in organic gardening and gourmet meal preparation for those in recovery. She's also collaborating to launch Unshackled, a social enterprise that seeks to empower those from backgrounds of incarceration and addiction to build equitable and productive relationships. Ben Sterchuk was born in communist Romania. At age 20, he made his first attempt to escape, which landed him in prison. On his second attempt, he made it to Hungary and from there immigrated to the US. In 2006, Ben graduated magna cum laude with a bachelor's degree in music ministry from Northwest University. Having previously earned both bachelor's and master's degrees in nursing from the University of Washington. In business, Ben is the founder and president of Elder Placements Incorporated in Bothell, Washington and has been a delegate for the Washington Business Advisory Board to the US Senate and rep represented the Small Business Advisory Board to the White House. In ministry, Ben is the founder and pastor of Elevation Churches International and serves as president of Vital Solutions, a nonprofit working in Kenya. Ben also teaches as an adjunct faculty member at Northwest University's Buntain School of Nursing, and for the last three years has led a team of senior nursing students to Kenya in their month-long nursing practice as a ministry course. In his spare time, Ben is earning his Doctor of Ministry degree from the Assemblies of God Theological Seminary. For your tireless dedication and devotion to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ and 
for your outstanding example of Christian life and character and for your recognizable achievement in leadership and service as an alumnus of Northwest University. For these reasons and more, it is now my pleasure to honor you with the Sigma Chi Pi Honor Society Award. I'm Sarah Drivdahl, Assistant Dean for the College of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> the Delta Tau Faculty Award of Honor, established in 1970, provides a means for the university faculty to confer and publicly honor certain persons who have made an outstanding contribution to the development and work of Northwest University. The name of the word Delta Tau comes from the initial Greek letters for the phrase Faculty Award. Though it, meet, though it names the faculty as its primary sponsor, the award is a conferral of honor from the entire university community. The faculty voted to bestow this honor on an individual who's enjoyed a significant and meaningful relationship with the Northwest University Committee community. I would like to invite Professor Christy Brodeen to join me on the podium. Professor Christy Lynn Brodeen began her teaching career at Northwest University 46 years ago. After graduating from Seattle Pacific University where she competed in basketball and tennis. During her first year at Northwest, she started our women's basketball team and shortly after that, our women's volleyball team as well. As basketball coach, Christy won five national championships and served on the leadership for the National Christian College Athletics Association. And in 1995, she was the first women inductee in their organization. In addition <laughs> to coaching and teaching, she also served as Northwest Alumni, I'm sorry, athletic director and led and established the women's soccer team. Christy has been honored by the City of Kirkland in the Plaza of Championships at Marina Park and is the one, one of the original inductees into Northwest University Eagle Hall of Fame. <laughs> and if that isn't enough, she has actually com completed four marathons after age 60. <laughs> It is a great privilege to give you this honor, the Delta Tau Faculty Award. Hello, I'm Barbara Petty, Chair of the Board of Directors. The Distinguished Service Award is presented by the Board of Directors for outstanding service to Northwest University and significant contributions to students, colleagues, and the entire university community. I would like to invite Professor Gary Gillespie to join me at the podium. Professor Gary Gillespie has taught communication at Northwest University for 31 years. During his time at Western Washington University, where he earned bachelor and master's degrees, Gary was a leader in student government, the debate team, and campus Christian fellowship. Gary describes coming to Northwest in 1985 as landing his dream job. Working with colleagues, he designed the communication studies major, which is now the largest in the College of Arts and Sciences. As well as serving as faculty advisor for the film and drama clubs, Gary coached the nationally competitive Eagle debate team for 28 years. 
His regional and national leadership in the debate community has been recognized by the creation of the Gary Gillespie Invitational Tournament, which will be hosted every year by Northwest University. Gary enjoys creative writing, fitness, and business entrepreneurship. His visual art has been featured at exhibits on Northwest's campus and throughout the region. Gary lives near the campus with his wife, Teresa Gillespie, Dean of the College of Business. The plaque reads, the Northwest University Board of Directors honors Gary Gillespie with the Distinguished Service Award for 31 years of outstanding service as a member of the faculty. In common with other institutions of higher learning, Northwest University, upon the vote of the Board of Directors, confers upon selected persons honorary doctoral degrees. The awarding of an honorary doctorate by a regionally accredited institution of higher learning is one of the most significant recognitions of success available in our society. An academic doctorate, such as the PhD, is proof of intelligence and hard work but it cannot guarantee the success of an individual in life or in service to God and society. On the other hand, the honorary doctorate constitutes proof that significant people have judged a person to be unquestionably successful in their life and career. It is my great pleasure to pronounce that Northwest University considers Dr. Ted Terry to be a truly successful man. In March of this year, Ted H. Terry celebrated 50 years in his chosen profession of book sales. He began his career at Thomas Nelson Publishers, responsible for all sales in 13 Western states. Three years later, he became the West Coast Regional Sales Director for W.W. W. Norton Company. In 1979, Ted and his family moved to Issaquah, where he purchased Lee R. Collins Associates and founded Noble Marketing, representing religious publishers like Baker, InterVarsity Press, and David C. Cook, which quickly became the largest sales group of its kind. Ted is a trustee of Northwest University's foundation and has been exemplary in bringing his knowledge of marketing, his bold faith, and inspiring generosity to bear on our, academic, on our advancement events. He was the key to getting Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson to speak at our Hall, Hall of Fame benefit. Ted mentors authors and awakens their voices. We admire him for his ministry in his local church and for the family values he lives out. Ted and his wife Marietta have been married for 54 years. They are blessed with five children and 14 grandchildren. And so by the authority vested in me upon the charter of Northwest University and by authorization of its board of directors, I hereby confer upon Ted Terry the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa with all the honors and distinctions which pertain thereto, and we present you with this token of testimony thereof. Finally, I'd like to invite Northwest University students Tyler Potasik, Ryan Carter, Joshua Pineda, Branson Corwin, Cole Hasty, and Athletic Director Gary McIntosh to join me on the platform. A April 2nd of this year started out like any other Saturday morning on campus. So soccer teams were practicing on the fields and some students were playing an intramural soccer game. During that intram intramural game, the goalie was our NUSG president, Mark Olson, who led the scripture reading earlier today. Mark jumped up to save a shot and landed hard on his back. He jumped up right away, but a few seconds later, he fell back to the ground in cardiac arrest. Our students and staff 
reacted immediately. One student assessed the situation and applied first aid. One ran to the Barton building to get the portable AED machine. One rubbed Mark's chest and looking for reaction and started CPR. Another assisted by checking Mark's airway. Two other students called 911 and then went to meet the paramedics and direct them to the field. And a staff member was there to direct and offer a, a, a help. All of these are heroes. They display clear heads and courageous hearts in a crisis. The Kirkland Fire Department, aid 22, wrote to us commending them for initiating the cardiac arrest chain of survival, effectively being first responders and a vital part of the response plan that saved Mark's life. Earlier this week, they were honored by the city of Kirkland with the Citizen Hero Award in the cramped temporary chambers of the city council. But today, we have this privilege of honoring and recognizing this team of heroes before the entire Northwest University community in the largest public venue on the east side. Would, we, would you join me again for a round of applause for these men who honored Christ and Northwest University by their actions.